Hello und willkommen. Did I get it right? Was that good? That was my attempt at German. Hello and welcome, my usual intro. And we're playing against Susanna as my Boris deck. And if you're wondering, why did you do your intro in German, or at least attempt? That is because my current whatever. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this Wild Berserker, because I have three of them. Um, Germany is my number... I mean, okay, the United States is the number one country that watches me. Number two is Germany, as of right now. So, shout out to all my German viewers for something. I'm trying to learn German. I haven't done it in a while. It's a process. Okay, so what we're going to do is get rid of another Wild Berserker. And we're playing this Boris deck again because I love this Boris deck. Um, and I'll probably explain why in the match. We're playing against Zana, which is going to be a tough matchup. But I want to win. She, she has a big deck, too. 50 cards, which Zana can pull off. Ooh, and we get a rampage. Okay, well, let's do... Wow, I don't like any of my options. Let's get rid of Yari Spearman. Let's play Alden here. Um... I don't know, I'm just... I don't know if, like, I'm explaining decisions. I'm upset I didn't get a Blood Frenzy. I'm like, what am I gonna do for draw? And, um... Usually you can... I, Yari Spearman are more helpful late game, in my opinion, than early game. So I usually end up sacrificing one or two of them at the beginning. Um, the other thing is I don't want to just like pump out a bunch of allies because of Tidal Wave. So yeah, she has Smite, gets rid of the Champion of Irum, and I'm all like, woohoo, and then I get my Carl Strat, and I'm like, yeah. Um, Rampage is going to definitely be helpful. We're just going to skip and play the Yari Spearman. And, um, you know, I don't have a draw. You don't have to sacrifice a card every turn. That's what I'm going to do. Um, we are playing against... Oh my gosh. Why? Why would you have to have this kind of name? Ah, I'll do it. Hold on. Let me just... I'll get it right the first time. Zeistus. That's how I would pronounce that. Zeistus. I don't know how else you could pronounce that. Is it Latin? It looks Latin. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is... Oh, I... okay. Um... Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Um... Get rid of the Wild Berserker, I guess. Play... Ramp? I don't know. You're like... What are you doing? I I don't know. Not killing the, the painted oracle slash killing it with my ability. Um, yeah, that was maybe a mistake. I've been kind of questioning like how I should be using my ability, and I, I haven't really come to a conclusion on whether like what I should be doing. Um, but yeah. Uh, what else is happening? I got a Carl Strat. I, I don't want to get rid of that. I want to keep him. Um, I would love to get a draw. Even a bad Santa. Like, that would be helpful. Cobra. What kind of deck is this? It's a messed up deck. You know, I have two allies out, so I'm not too upset or anything. I'm sitting here like, oh, look what I got. Let's get rid of the dragon, dragon's tooth because I'm not gonna be able to play it anyway. Like for a while, two turns, especially if this is like a some resource denial. Zana, you know she's got cobra skins and whatever that other card is. Um, arid land, is that what it is? Dry land. It's like orange. It's like a like whatever. I forget what it's called. She'll probably play one. Um, anyway. So that's why I'm getting rid of that. She does have a title wave. But I got my draw up, so I'll, hopefully I'll get an ally um, to play. 
Because, okay, you know, Priest plays a tidal wave. You like to play an ally. I like to play an ally. Let's... I want to try to get this Carl strat out, but I don't feel, like, good just sacrificing a bunch of cards. Um... Yeah. What other things to say? Shattering Fates! Have you heard about that? If you didn't, um, they're spoiling the next expansion, Shattered Fates. They've shown two heroes, which are legendary, which is interesting, and they've shown two allies, also. Um, okay. I don't know, should I keep the Smashing Blow, or not? I don't know, let's get rid of it. I did it. Already did it. Uh, I got rid of the Smashing Blow because she doesn't have a- she doesn't play to Wizard Staff. I am going to play two allies here. Why? I don't think she's got a Tidal Wave. I am taking the risk. Sometimes you do that. Sometimes it pays off and other times it's horribly, horribly wrong. But yeah, Shattered Fates. Um, you know, I don't want to give anything away if you don't want to, like, uh, look at the cards. But she does have a Tidal Wave, so I'm like, Zeistus has a Tidal Wave, so it's like, oh, great. I'll be able to play Carl Str Strad next turn. Screw you. Um, gonna get rid of Crippling Blow just so I can play Carl. I think that's what I should call Carl. That's what I was calling him on the forums and a post, I think. Uh, I've been getting back to the forums. That's fun. Um, just a little bit. If you care. <laughs> I don't know why you would. Um, okay, Priest of the Light. Plague. That's what it is. It's not Arid Land or whatever. It's Plague. That's the card I was thinking of. But it's like, the, the picture is Arid Land. That's whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of you. I'm gonna go after the hero because of uh, five attack. Yeah. I don't know. Death race, whatever. I, I'm going after the hero. Okay, but the thing about, okay, so they had the whatever, and there's the two cards, there's two heroes they did and two allies. Um, I'll say, okay, this is all I'm gonna say about it. I really like Frostmare. I think that is an awesome ally. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, you don't know anything about it, you know, unless, unless you look it up. It's called Frostmare. I don't think giving away the names is that traumatizing. Um, let's get rid of Blood Frenzy. Okay, we are gonna kill the Priest of Light, though, with the Alden. Now... And we'll destroy the Cobra Skin Wraps, just so it's not there anymore. And I can. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Did you hear that laugh? It was pretty girly. <laughs> anyway. Okay. I want to, I'm trying to comment on the game and, you know, bring my thoughts on the Shadow Era community. It's wonderful. This is my radio speaking voice. How do you like it? It's wonderful, isn't it? He's rounding second, going to third. The throw's coming in. That's an awful baseball voice. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop getting off track in my head. Calm down a little bit. Oh, and I have Pew in? I'll explain why I put him in there, I guess, later. <laughs> not right now, too bad. I'm not gonna kill the Tainted Oracle. I wish I had a Crippling Blow for it, because that's always like a big F you. Like, oh, I have a Crippling Blow for the- I'm gonna play the Pew in. Okay, I promise I'll say what I want to say about the other ally, wh whose name is Infernus something or other. I don't really remember. Now, when I saw him, I immediately thought, he was overpowered, and wrote so on the forums, as she plays a King's Pride. And basically, basically, basically the, basically the thing is, basically, is that he has Steadfast. And I think that was just like, too much. That's what bothered me, the Steadfast part. It's like, I have Steadfast, you know, like, okay. So let's skip and let's play Alden, and that's it. We're, we'll kill the Tainted Oracle with me, my ability. But he had Steadfast. I, like, that was just too much. 
And I, I won't say what his other ability is if you want to keep it a surprise or something. I don't know why you would, but I'm sure there's some people who would. Stead saying steadfast isn't a lot. The other part of his ability is kind of unique and interesting. And I don't want to give it away if you don't want to, you know, you don't want to hear it. But he did have steadfast. And I think if he was going to have steadfast, he needed some negative. So, I don't know. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know, like, uh, Brutal Minotaur has negative. When he dies, he gets... You you have two damage dealt to yourself. Like, that kind of thing. Or, like, uh, Fury and Terror is, like, totally weak to ice. But, you know, he's weak to ice because he's invulnerable to fire. Okay. Uh, she plays a raven. I'm just going to... I'm not going to skip. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this... That guy. Gadari Barbarian. And we're going to play the Dragon's Tooth and kill the Raven. I don't know why I was going to do anything else. I was going to like, oh, I'm going to play allies or something. And then I don't care if she kills one or attacks the Alden. Because the Alden can still... She would have been able to kill the Alden, actually. I don't know. I Whatever. I'm Look how I'm winning. Anyway. That's all I wanted to say about that. Whatever. I'm on the forums now more. Hope I want to get more involved on in the forums. I just... I don't know. I I don't really like getting too, like, my opinion, rah, 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 talking a lot. Like, against people. Because, like, here I can be like, whatever. And you might be like, no, I hate you. Everything you say is awful. But, you know, I can't hear you. So I don't really care. You know, I don't want to say something in the forums that, like, really offends someone. We're going to get rid of Gunther because I don't really care. Let's play Crippling Blow. Let's attack the hero. Um, and we're going to keep the allies in case of a tidal wave. Um, but it's pretty much game over. So you forums, I, like, I really don't want to offend, offend people. I don't want to like say, well, you're stupid even if I think you are. You know, so I don't really like getting into arguments over forums necessarily. I will gladly argue with you in real life about any topic you would w like to argue about but um yeah so whatever but I hopefully i want to post more on the forums i want to be like involved in the community or something i don't know <laughs> whatever i'm beating up on zana pretty bad zana playing Rage, I guess. I mean, there's no reason to put out other allies in case of a tidal wave, because I mean, if she gets really lucky and gets a tidal wave, it's like, well, you're prolonging the game. Um, so, I guess my final, like, she gets a King's Pride. <laughs> I have a Smashing Blow. Sorry. It's game over. All right, GG. Okay, well, let me... I just want to say one thing about GG real quick, and that, like, people, okay, people will write GG to me when I have, like, over 10 health still. Like, I'll have 14 health, and they're like, GG, like, there's no possible way you can do, like, it's not like they have a bunch of allies on the board either. I just played a game, I did lose it in the end, but it was, like, halfway through the game, I was playing against the Zaladar, and he writes GG, like, in the middle of it. I was like so confused. He had like two allies out, and I had zero. And like, I didn't have any shadow energy, and he had like stored up five or something. So I'm like, that's not GG. Like, I get a wild berserker and a crippling blow, and it's like, I'm back in it. Or at least, I might not control the board, but at least I'm like, I don't know. That was weird. That's happened a couple times though, where they'll just write GG, and I'm like, it's not game over. I have, pl I played some. I actually was playing someone, they wrote GG, like I was losing, like they had full health and I had like 9 health, I ended up winning, because I came back, I got an enrage, that's the other thing, if you're playing a warrior, they have enrages, like unless you're sitting there holding onto a severed ties, they can like, which, so, okay, let's look at the deck real quick, I was just really confused by it, I'm like, so basically, if you write GD, GG to me, like in the middle of a game, I just think you're an asshole, because it's not game over yet. If you really think you're that good, that you're just going to win, like, no. Especially this deck. This deck is great at making comebacks. You would be surprised with Rampage and Enrage. 
Okay, so it's the same deck as the other video. I think I added this sleeve. Um, but yeah, I except I made one small change. I took out a champion of Irum and added a Pulin. <laughs> and you you might be like, why would you do that? Like, are you just being stupid? Or no, there's a reason, and I will explain myself. And I've exp I've said this a hundred times. I know I have, and I'll say it again. I don't like four unique cards in my deck. I just don't. Maybe not items, like I would have four Tome of Knowledges, even though Tome of Knowledge is technically unique. But, like, allies. Unique allies? I don't like having four. I refuse to put four Death Mage Thaddeuses in my deck, even if it's the right thing to do. I, I just refuse. And I was kind of upset looking at the deck, and I'm like, there's three Champion of Eurums, or four. I'm like, there shouldn't be four, because sometimes you get your lower allies late in the game, and that's what you want to do, flood the board with them. And if you have ch all Champion of Eurums, you cannot do that. But I want Champion of Eurum in this deck because of how, like, all the allies are playing off of other allies being on the board and stuff and it's kind of like crazy stuff's happening all the time and blah 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 and whatever and I, so so what I decided and some decks I will do a 2-2 two -two split where I do two Puins and two Champion of Eurums but that's usually when I don't really care I'm just like well I need two CC allies whatever just like throw them in my deck um and it kind of like you know it kind of makes it harder to play because you have to think like, oh, do I want to sacrifice a Pewin or Champion of Irum here? But whatever. So that's why I did that. It's kind of it's kind of stupid. It's, it's just like a pet peeve, I guess, of mine. Um, yeah. Okay. So a couple things I want to say real quick um, because this is the time where I can just talk to you. So nothing's gonna happen. You can leave the video, like, favorite, comment, whatever it is people say. The things I want to say is. Um, I'm almost done. If you didn't notice, I'm, I've almost done all heroes now. I, Serena is the last one, and I'd like to throw up a couple more Lance videos. Um, Serena's been a nightmare, but I'll talk about her when I play with her. Um, after I'm done with all the heroes, I think the hero videos are going to decrease very rapidly. Um... I mean, Shattering Fates, Fates is kind of on its way, uh, so maybe we'll do something with that or something. I mean, that's going to get released soon. I mean, not next month, maybe, but I mean, I'm assuming in a couple months now. Um, it might even be faster than I think, because last time Dark Prophecies, they were doing out teasers, and it was pretty quick after that. Unless they have more people. Wolven's growing as a company. Anyway... So I have Serena left to go. I wanted to do meltdown matches. Um, I, I've, I've recorded some in the past and I didn't really like them. But I'm, I'll still do them. I still want to do them. It's just hard because they're a lot slower. And it's like I'm trying to tell you my thought process and it's a little difficult. And it's kind of like it makes it easier. But they're a little drawn out. So that's just what you're going to get with the meltdown videos. And I want to do other stuff. Um, I've just been really busy and stuff and whatever and you don't need to hear my life, but I'm trying to do a lot of things, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I want to play other games, but it's like I'll get into other games and I'll start like thinking of ideas for content and then it's just like too hard and this is easy because I kind of know what I'm doing and I know what I want to do and stuff and whatever. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to say about this Boris deck. I mean, besides Boris is probably one of my favorite heroes to play as, just because I've played... The, Boris was the hero I learned to play Shadow Arrow with. Um, oh, the other... Okay, last thing. If you're still with me, I don't look at how long people stay with the videos, but I, I'm assuming there's like, out of every hundred views, you know, there's one guy who watches the whole thing. So thank you to that one guy. I almost have four of every card. And I was excited and I wanted to show you. I'm really close. Look at this. I had tons of gold because I haven't... I just spent it all. All of it. 
all the gold I'd accumulated. It was a lot. Uh, there's there's a couple of threes. There's a two. And a couple of twos here. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, and Ghostmaker. I'm missing one of that. that. These are all the cards that I don't have fours of. I have all the rest fours. Um, for all the whatevers. Except for the legendary cards. I don't... That's a whole nother thing where... I, did I tell you? I'll tell you the story again. I'm talkative mood. So I was opening a bunch of packs. I pre-ordered the cards. That's why if you didn't know and you wondered, and you're like, why does... I'll look for myself real quick. Now I'm just doing a bunch of stuff. I turned into a vlog, whatever. So I look for myself, Anomalous T, woo, that's me. And I've got this star in front of my name and you're like, you know, you might be like, why do you have a star in front of your name? Why would you choose that as your new username? I didn't. Um, the people who pre-ordered the physical cards way back when, that was a long time ago. Uh, if you pre-ordered them, you got bonuses. Uh, one of being which you get a star in front of your name. Uh, the other one, if you look at my, when we're playing the match up here uh, in the icon, it's silver instead of the green color, I think. And that's because I pre-ordered it. Um, but because I pre-ordered the cards, so I have physical cards. Um, you get like Chris, you get shadow crystals with the real cards, like the real cards, whatever. I think every pack gives you it's like seventy-five to one hundred and fifty shadow crystals. It's like around there. I think you can get fifty to two hundred, but it's like you get a little over a hundred for every pack. And I got, I have a bunch of packs. So, I don't know, I bought like 50 packs, I had like so many Shadow Crystals, and you know, I just, so I just got tons and tons of Dark Prophecies packs, 50. I, it was like a little under 50, it was like 48 or something. No Legendary cards, none! I had to buy, I bought two from the Marketplace, I bought a Carl Stetrad and a Colossus, but the Colossus like glitched out or something, and... It didn't count the purchase. I also bought a Zaladar and it didn't count that purchase either. So that was frustrating. I could probably like go and say, Oh hey, I purchased a Colossus and I didn't get it. Or I don't really care that much. Um, until there's like an actual like good way of getting the legendary cards. I mean, what am I going to do with one of them? I, okay. I am done talking. I promise. I'm done talking. Thanks for watching. As always.